channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. Um, I hope you stay for a while. You might as well do yourself a favor right now and click like on this video and subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be trying to post a lot more. So, <laughs> have a girl out. Today we're going to be doing a what's in my bag video. So this is my little guest bag. I mean, I got a lot of really nice expensive purses, but to be quite honest with you, I don't wear that stuff out all the time. This is kind of like my everyday bag. So it's a nice little guest bag. Well, not really little, but it's a good size. And I also have this tiny little guest backpack. It didn't come with it. I kind of bought it separately that I like to put loose change in. So whenever I get like tips at work or honestly, if I find 10 cents on the ground, like I'm snatching that real quick. So I don't always have all these items in my purse, but you know, there is a lot of shit in here today. I might as well do a video about it now. Um, you guys might think I'm crazy, but I don't care. It's my purse. It's what it is. Okay. So, first item that I got in here is my car keys. Gotta have your keys in there. I'm not getting far without these babies. So, always nice to have. Um, item number two is a flat iron. Gotta have a flat iron. I don't really do to my hair. Like, I'm a hairdresser, but when it comes to my own hair, I'm like super low maintenance, like super lazy. I just don't think that there's any point of damaging your hair when you're not doing anything that great. Like even if I go to the club, I'm probably not going to do my hair because I'm just going to sweat it off anyways. So one day my cousin called me. She's like, yo girl, I got a date going on. I'm like, hold up bitch, I'm going to be right there. So I went over there with my big bag of hair supplies and I ended up forgetting this flat iron there. So, got it back. There's that. It's also near the end of March. So, April's coming up. That means that Easter's coming up too. So, I got my large bag of mini eggs because honestly, f man, it's, oh, f it smells like heaven in here. So if you want to know what heaven smells like, buy a bag of mini eggs, put them in your purse, and you are set for the day in terms of sugar. <laughs> Another thing that I got in here is a carton of milk because honestly, you never know when someone's going to walk up to you and be like, hey girl, you got milk? Um, Actually, yeah, I do got milk. So always got to keep that handy, you know? Another thing that I have in my purse is some Excel gum. I really, really, really like this bubble mint one. It tastes like bubble gum, tastes like mint. It's kind of fruity at the same time, so it's a little bit of everything. And most importantly, it's pink. So obviously I gotta have that. Another thing that I have in here is some Kleenex. Always good to have Kleenex to go. You never know if you're gonna need it. One of the most important things that I have in my bag has to be my wallet. It is this cute little Louis Vuitton wallet. Um, unfortunately, I don't know why, but the button just flips right off really easily. Like, it really doesn't work very well, which I'm kind of upset about because, like, this wallet cost me, like, $600 or so. So, like, I'm really upset that it's kind of f***ed up. But I heard that you can send them in and they can fix them for you. So, yeah, I think I'm going to do that because I have this wallet that needs fixing. I have another Louis wallet that's in my closet right now and it's kind of like a, it's longer, it's brown, it's envelope style and it's got like a button just like this but it's red leather, the button, but the leather like scratched right off and I'm very careful with my stuff. Like I take great care of my stuff. For the leather of the button to come off, uh, not so great. Louis Vuitton has some really, really great quality stuff but so far, my experience in the wallets are not that great. Especially for how much you're paying for. Like, they're really expensive. Like, give a girl a break a little bit, you know? Another thing that I have in here is a Apple Watch without its body, Series 4. I'm trying to sell it. So I just kind of have it with me everywhere I go. It's kind of pointless. Um, I also have the receipt for that Apple Watch. Just so in case, you know, when I do try to sell it, they say, oh, well, don't you think that's a little much? Well, bitch, don't you think I paid a little much more? So, and it's fairly new. So I'm really gonna try to sell that, make some extra money, pay some bills, 
you know the deal. Another thing that I have in here is my little mini dry shampoo. Guys, I cannot live without dry shampoo. I'm telling you, I am such a greasy f I washed my hair yesterday and I already had to dry shampoo the out of it. Honestly, this was my lifesaver in college. And not even college, just like every day of my freaking life. I don't know what I would do without you dry shampoo. God bless you, I love you so much. Another thing that I have in here is my planner. Um, sometimes I like to write down. Honestly, I am so forgetful when it comes to plans or events or anything that I got going on. So I like to write it down. It just kind of helps me keep my life in track. Um, I also write down how much I make on here, which is very important. Always keep track of how much money comes in. If you want to see a video of how I do my budget, just comment down below and maybe it'll be my next video. I don't know, whenever I have time. Honestly, I'm really at uploading videos but when I do I'll make sure it's very very detailed and hopefully it helps you guys out because budgeting is so important it's always something that needs to be done and honestly if you're not budgeting I don't know how you're ever gonna make any real gains in your life financially got to have my handy dandy hand cream so this is a moisturizing cream by Aveda it's pink which is freaking awesome and it is cherry almond scented and it is made of 98% naturally derived ingredients which is wonderful also I'm not sure how much of the proceeds uh, okay so five US dollars of the proceeds of this goes to the research of breast cancer so good cause anything that has to do with breast cancer I always support uh, personally, I don't have anyone in my family that has ever experienced breast cancer, which is a wonderful thing. Knock on wood. I'm very grateful for that. But I always, always, always support breast cancer because just the thought of it just really messes with me. Like, just the thought of breast cancer is just so sad. Like, as a woman, that's that's like a part of you. That that's like a part of your womanhood. Always support breast cancer, guys. Another thing that I have in my purse is this cute little case that I have tampons in here. I always keep a regular tampon and a super absorbent tampon. I'm not on my period, but just in case I start my period, which I know I'm not going to because I'm on birth control, so it's kind of scheduled that way. But then again, when these bitches start acting up and all of a sudden you realize, oh shit, maybe she's on her period. And she asks you for a tampon, you're like, yeah girl, I got some. You want some panty liners too? Because I got that in there too, honey. Okay, we always stay equipped for that stuff. I also have a pen in here because you never know when you need a pen. Always, always, always when I need a pen, there's no freaking pen to be seen in sight. And thank God, I got a pen. Um, I also have another pen in here in case some bastard decides to steal that pen. You always got a backup pen. You know, you gotta stay prepared in these streets. I also have two little things of Advil cold and sinus in daytime. If I'm out and about or I'm at work and I start to feel the symptoms of a cold, I like to take this right away just to tackle it and just basically overdose on orange juice because I freaking love OJ and it's delicious and refreshing and it's full of vitamin C. With that, it's gone. I also have a tinted lip balm by Revlon. I actually really freaking like this. It's it's amazing. It smells so good. It leaves a nice little tint on your lips. Keeps them nice and moisturized. I also have another one, which is kind of a different shade than this one. But this one's finished, so I really don't understand why I have it in here. It's kind of pointless. Just one of those things I never emptied out. Oh, speaking of emptying out, you guys are so lucky that I emptied out my receipts in here from a week ago because I swear to God, I will go through every single receipt that is shoved in this purse with you guys. You might just hate me. You might just close this video and move on to the next. I don't blame you. Just feel grateful that there's no receipts in here because normally this is literally like a receipt bag. It's just a bag for receipts. Like, I also have a Smashbox lip gloss in here because can never have enough lip gloss, right guys? Sometimes when you're just too much all day, right? You need all kinds of lip gloss. So I also have a rubber band in here because whenever Bill Gates decides, you know, I think I'm gonna send Ronella some money today. He sends me the check, I cash it out, and there's so much freaking cash because he just, you know, he just, he loves me so much. He just cares for me so much that 
it's so much cash and I, I you need a rubber band like I'm telling you boy hooks it up I'm totally kidding but Bill Gates if you want to send me some money <laughs> a girl could use some okay I got some more plastic surgery I need to get done I also have some hair oil so this is Redavid hair oil I actually met the guy um, who created this honestly I forget his first name I think it starts with, a, with an F he's Italian Fernando Francesco something with an F and his last name is Redavid I actually did a hair cutting class with him and he gave us a discount on all his products one-time discount and I'm telling you the orchid oil hair treatment is like wonders now I know I was just telling you that I'm really really greasy but that's like up here okay when it comes to my ends they're super super dry so I just kind of squirt some in here if I feel like my hair is looking dry I just kind of run it through and guys it smells so freaking nice like vanilla orchids and happiness all in one and if there's any leftover, just kind of rub it in my skin. You know, I'm a hairdresser, so I'm constantly shampooing all day. And I find that my skin tends to get really dry. So this helps a lot, even though I got my <laughs> hand cream in here. I still like to rub that in my skin. Why not? You don't want to waste any product, right? And last but not least in here, I have my mirror. Always, always, always important to have a mirror in your purse. So it kind of looks like this little diamond thing, it's really shiny, and you can see yourself through there if you want to just like have a quick look, but it actually opens up, and I got just a regular mirror here, and then if I ever want to feel ugly or see how I'm doing, like real close, I got this mirror just to see how ugly I really am, and yeah, that's basically all I got in here. Honestly, I'm really trying to find that million dollar check that I lost, but it seems to not be in here, so. I'll just let that slide. Uh, so yeah, Bill Gates, if you want to send another million over because I lost the other check, that'd be great. Alright guys, thank you so much for listening to my video. Some of this stuff is actually stuff I keep in my purse. Um, some of this stuff is not stuff I actually keep in my purse, like this f***ing carton of milk. But I did go buy just milk today and I decided to shove it in my bag real quick. <laughs> So don't judge me, but in my defense, it was in my purse. So I hope you guys stay blessed, and I hope to see you guys again. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll try and post a lot more, and like this video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, models!